Welcome to our overview on articles. There are a lot of materials in these web pages to help you. You will find information on how to find articles, read articles, and determine how trustworthy they are. But for now, we want to make sure that we're all on the same page. We're going to start at the beginning and define what an article is and why it might be useful for your research. And then we'll review what this surrounding guide has to offer. Let's get started. What is an article? Typically, an article is a factual piece of writing on a specific topic. It's usually relatively short and a piece of something larger. That means it can be collected with a bunch of other articles and published in something larger, such as a journal, magazine, or newspaper. All of these could be printed, but it is more likely you will see these articles on a website. These collections of articles that get published are often called periodicals. Wait a second, periodical? Yes. A periodical is a bunch of published words, but unlike a book, which is written, finished, and sold, periodicals are never really finished. They keep publishing more and more pieces, usually called issues or volumes. You see, they are published periodically, or once in a while, which means articles are published regularly, all of the time, in fact. New articles are published every few months, years, even days. But why? Why publish bits of information regularly and not just wait until you have enough collected to publish a book? Well, the answer is simple, really. Think of a controversial topic. Let's say gay rights. Sure, we could publish a book about each stance, but what happens when there's a new study done? Do you reprint the book with a couple of new pages added? Or what if new events happen? Do we just keep writing, reprinting, and adding new books? Of course not. That would be totally impractical, especially when we're in the middle of a heated debate. People want their information and ideas out there fast. Maybe they have some new information they want others to hear, or a new analysis of an old problem. They want to share their data and ideas while people are still on the topic. Also, unlike the instantaneous but sometimes inaccurate postings of social media, these authors want their information to be reviewed and edited to increase reliability. The answer to that? Articles. Because articles are edited and published periodically, that means they actually get out in the world much faster than books, especially if they're published online. Professionals and researchers can get their information to the public much faster with something that prints every few months. And because this information gets out so fast, other articles are able to build off of and respond to these articles. This sort of interconnected information makes articles of a similar topic weave together and connect. Essentially, articles published are creating a conversation on a topic. This is why articles are great for research. Since most articles are published in periodicals, the information is often much more recent and up-to-date than their book counterparts. Also, articles offer a wide variety. You can have results from studies, people analyzing studies, opinions, reports, and more. Of course, this is where you'll need to be careful. Some articles are going to be better sources than others, but that's what this guide is for. We'll show you how to find articles on certain topics, hunt down scientific articles, use databases and other online sources to get articles, read articles, request articles, and even help you test your articles to see how reliable they are. Remember, we are here to help. If you have any questions, please contact us using our Ask a Librarian service.